Hello everyone, this is a Tuesday Tea Time Bible Talk. <laughs> I know I haven't done this in a while, I've just been on vacation. I did my video last week where I was, I recorded it a couple days before, and, but it was, um, you know, just hearing my thoughts or anything, not really a biblical video. This one is, um, subject matter is Ecclesiastes 3, and again, I don't read out loud well, so, um, Yes, before you ask, I have my tea, sweet tea today. Well, it's actually a sweet tea without any sugar in it, so it's like a diet sweet tea, but still, you know. Now, because I don't read out loud well, I won't read it out. You can read the portion yourself in Ecclesiastes 3, like the verse 8 or so. That's a very famous uh, portion about, you know, a time, there's a season for everything. There's a time to, to gather stones. Time to cast away stones, time to embrace, time to refrain from embracing, time to love, time to hate, time for love, time for war. It's um, time to weep, time to cry, and all stuff like that. It's that time to think. In every time and season, there's time for this and that. And uh, my hair's all wonky. It's because um, I was praying about what to talk about today. And. And just to be honest, it's just like I was really not feeling it because <laughs> it's like I don't know what what to talk about. I've been kind of out of it the past few days, just mentally and everything. And then I thought, no, that'd be the topic to think about: the seasons of life. Um, always gonna have times where, hey, we're doing well. And there's going to be times in life where you're just questioning everything, don't know what to do, don't know what's going on, don't know what to do about certain subjects or certain things, how to leave things be, why to leave them be, why is it this way, can I do something, do I not do anything, can this situation be uh, restored, can it not be restored? It's, um, it gets at you, you know? Food seeping through my straw. <laughs> but, um, it's, um, it can be very frustrating uh, during these times where you don't know what to do and everything, but in every, again, in every season, there's a purpose for it. And so I just, it's more of an encouragement to myself, but to anyone watching this, that, you know, we don't know the reason for everything going on, but we praise the Lord for it, and we trust Him throughout it to get us through. Because even though there is a season of the ups and downs of life where things are sucky or great, or sucky or great, um... The Lord is still the Lord throughout it all. And he's still sovereign. And two things about him that is always consistent. He doesn't change and he does not lie. When he says he loves you, he loves you. And his love is always there. So it's just the thing I'm thinking about today, just like, Lord, I don't know. I really want this situation to change or like this relationship to do you know, change or be restored or whatever, or I want like this to, <laughs> and all of that, or whatever. It's just like, I don't know what to do. I'm just fighting kind of this or that. The Lord is the sovereign. The Lord is working in us his purpose and wisdom and will, and we just have to trust him through it. So no matter your season, maybe it's in the time where it's a casting away stones, but there's stones are going to be gathered, and maybe right now, maybe more for me, it's a time to refrain from embracing, but there's going to be a time to embrace again. But in the meantime, you just, while you're going through it, just wait on the Lord and trust Him and love, love on Him, do your best, and love on others the best you can. All right, so short vid. I just want to make it quick, just thinking about it. All right, but I'll see you next week. 
hopefully have a better topic or something to think upon and everything. So we'll see you next time. Goodbye.